Thank you, Chris, for your leadership with this. <clears throat> you know, I, I think the American people really don't understand the, the, the effects of communism. Uh, just last week, there was a, a large uh, newspaper article about uh, legislators going on European vacations using private campaign dollars. There's an uproar. People were upset about what they perceive as abuse of power with those dollars. Under communist regime, the American people need to understand that the wealth and all the resources are aggregated to the few, those in power, those politicians. The only people that are wealthy, the only people that have anything of means are those who are in charge, the politicians. They're the ones, when the Soviet Union collapsed, had the multi-million dollar mansions along the Black Sea and other areas uh, who went on vacations because the general public couldn't afford it. Because again, it's scarcity of resources, it's resource management. Uh, I think the greatest example uh, of communism today is North Korea. When you look at the, 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 the nighttime map between North Korea and South Korea, the tale of two Koreas, one under communist regime, the other uh, was brought up in free market democracy. It is completely black, absent where the leaders of North Korea live. South Korea is a thriving economy, a thriving democracy. That's not what we need in the United States. That's not what we need in this world. Communism is shut off. It's closed. It is not transparent. It is not open. That's why when communist regimes come into power, they eradicate the opposition. Who's the opposition? Journalists, professors, teachers, anybody of substance that has individual thought uh, are eradicated um, through murder, put away in concentration camps, and then redoctrination occurs. Single thought thinking. It's our way or the highway. If you oppose us, you'll be locked up or you will die. Oh, by the way, it just it doesn't stop with you. They also target your families and your children. That's not what we need today. And what's more irrehensible is the fact that a city so rooted in freedom and democracy decided to fly the communist Chinese flag in the same city where our founders gathered to give us the freedom and the, one of the greatest political documents, the U.S. Constitution, which holds back power from the government and give remaining power to the citizens. That is complete opposite of how communism works. Um, the Kennedy administration should be condemned for their actions and they should stand in solidarity with the American people against communist regimes. You heard it today. Uh, the Chinese communists are trying to influence our First Amendment freedoms in this country. It's shameful, it needs to stop, and I think it stops by having state legislators take these resolutions and bring them forward and start talking about the realities of what communism is. It is death and is destruction to so many people across the history of, of, and, and current day across the world. So thank you, Chris, for your leadership. I applaud my colleagues for their yes vote and appreciate all the work um, the victims of Communist Memorial Foundation have done to bring this to light. And we look forward to continuing partner, our partnership in Pennsylvania with you. Thank you.